Hi guys, my name is Sudesh and you are watching 7 Souls Education. In this video, I will be discussing about anti-fuse. Keep watching. What is anti-fuse? An anti-fuse is an electrical device that performs the opposite function to a fuse. Whereas a fuse starts with a low resistance and is designed to permanently break an electrically conductive path when the current through the circuit exceeds a specified value, while an antifuse starts with a high resistance and is designed to permanently create an electrically conductive path when the voltage across it exceeds a certain value. So you are seeing the difference? The difference is exact opposite. Antifuse is an exact opposite of fuse. Okay? Fuse breaks the circuit, antifuse connects the circuit. Here's the architecture of antifuse. How it is made? There are two metal layers, and in between those two metal layers, a non conducting, non crystalline silicon, generally amorphous silicon, is placed or sandwiched between these two metal layers, and current cannot flow through it. This red line represents current flowing, okay? It's not flowing through this. But if the voltage level exceeds a certain minimum value, the current starts conducting okay in this figure you can see the current starts conducting and here a link has been generated in between this sandwich layer amorphous silicon has been converted to polysilicon okay polycrystalline this has been converted to polycrystalline silicon an antifuse is the opposite of regular fuse. An antifuse is normally an open circuit until you force a programming current through it about 5 mA current. If it exceeds 5 mA current, then it will start conducting, it will short circuit. In a polydiffusion antifuse, the high current density causes a large power dissipation in a small area, which melts a thin insulating dielectric between polysilicon and diffusion electrodes and forms a thin about 20 nm nanometer in diameter permanent and resistive silicon link so remember this link is permanent not temporary M means once it has been established you cannot undo that next let's see what are the types of antifuses there are generally three types of antifuses Dielectric antifuses, amorphous silicon antifuses, and general antifuses. Dielectric antifuses employ a very thin oxide barrier between a pair of conductors. Formation of conductive channel is performed by a dielectric breakdown forced by a high voltage pulse. Dielectric antifuses are usually employed in CMOS and bi CMOS processes. Next, amorphous silicon antifuse. One approach for IC is that use antifuse technology employs a thin barrier of non-conducting amorphous silicon between the two metal conductors as I have shown you. When a sufficiently high voltage is applied across the amorphous silicon, it is turned into a polycrystalline silicon metal which has a very low resistance okay, and which is conductive. Amorphous silicon is usually not used either in bipolar or CMOS process and it generally requires an additional manufacturing steps. Next is Zener antifuse. Zener diode can be used as antifuses. The PN junction that serves as such a diode is overladed with a current spike and overheated. At temperatures above 100 degrees Celsius and current density is above 10 to the power 5 ampere per centimeter square, the metallization undergoes electromigration and forms spikes through junction, sorting it out. This process is known as Zener Zap in the industry. Remember it, Zener Zap. Now let's come to advantages of antifuse. So one advantage of antifuse is that it consumes less power in an unprogrammed state. It is more secure than E-fuse. E-fuse is exact opposite of antifuse and it is more secure. If a uh, some secure key has been built using these devices then antifuse will be more secure because I'll show you why it is more secure 
in e fuse this is an overview top view of e fuse okay e fuse you can see when the link has been broken it is visible from the top that it's broken but in anti fuse you cannot differentiate between the linked and unlinked a programmer or a hacker cannot differentiate if uh, it's conducting or not conducting by just looking through it or just doing some experiment it's very difficult to crack these one these things next we come to application of antifuse application it is used in christmas tree lights serial lights antifuse are best known for their use in mini light low voltage christmas tree lights ordinarily the lamps are wired in series i'm not talking about c7 and c9 style lights as they were wired in parallel so the, they don't need antifuses but in series lightings because the series string would be rendered inoperable by a single lamp failing each bulb has an antifuse to sort the blown bulb allowing the series circuit to resume functioning antifuses are also used in fpga fpga stand for field programmable gate arrays and there are many uses in semiconductor devices so this much for today thank you so much if you like the video please give a thumbs up and share the video and subscribe to this channel thank you